welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another mukbang video. Today is another episode of Munching Mondays. And Munching Mondays, if you guys didn't know, is my mukbang series. Mukbang is an eating show. So today we're gonna be eating, but today we're also gonna be cooking together because I know you guys love the cooking and mukbang videos. So we're gonna cook together, but this is not my recipe, you guys. This is actually a recipe from another Instagrammer, like vegan recipe content developer. And her handle on Instagram is the foodie takes flight and her name is Jessica and she has an ebook that is actually part of the vegan bundle which by the way is available for another few more days uh, we re-released it there's a lot of you guys that missed out the first sale and uh, this is gonna be the second installment of this vegan bundle which by the way is 60 now I think there's there's more ebooks now but 60 more than 60 ebooks for only $50 these are all vegan ebooks and my everyday Asian recipes ebook is in that um in that bundle so it's a huge huge deal so Jessica's ebook is also in this bundle and her ebook is amazing you guys if you love Asian recipes hers is also like full of Filipino recipes and I've always wanted to try like vegan like Filipino food today we're taking like a really it looks like a simple easy dish it's like Filipino style spaghetti which I've wanted to try for so long it's kind of like I think it's supposed to be like a sweet spaghetti but it seems easy enough I'm taking her recipe and I'm gonna I'm gonna make it here and uh, and see how it tastes so here we go. Hey guys, I just wanted to let you know if you purchase the vegan bundle through my link below, you'll also get completely free access to my new how to go vegan guide. This is an ebook I've been working on for the last few months and I thought it'd be great to add this into the vegan bundle value as a free gift. So this goes through information about veganism, how to transition into a vegan lifestyle, and my overall general tips on going vegan. So if you purchase the vegan bundle through the link below you'll be able to get this vegan guide for free all the information you need to know will be in the description box so make sure you grab this as well let me just pull up her recipe now i already measured everything and got all the ingredients ready okay so we got we got the pan here i got spaghetti cooked already so now we're gonna turn this thing up it's gonna get hot turn this thing up we are going to heat one tablespoon of oil so we have oil here guys one tablespoon measured Ooh, ooh, ooh. So we got the tablespoon of oil heating up this pan and she has a bunch of other recipes that I want to try as well. One thing at a time. <laughs> I wish I had more time to try more of these recipes but it's been so crazy so you know story of my life. So we're going to heat this up and then we are going to add the, did, 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 the red onions. So I've got red onions chopped here. Red on, oh you know what I didn't bring? Oh, I'll just use this. Mm. So I, was, I didn't bring anything to cook with. I'm so excited for this. I love spaghetti. And I've wanted to try like a Filipino version of spaghetti for a while, but I haven't gotten around to it. So when I saw this recipe, I was like, definitely need to try this. So I'm gonna cook this for a few minutes. Just like two or three minutes until it starts to get fragrant. Yummy. Now we're gonna add some minced garlic. Another few minutes, couple minutes. We are going to add the tomato sauce. So this is a mixture of tomato sauce, tomato paste, and a little bit of water. I basically just followed her instructions. Woo! And we're also gonna add, where is it? Oh, this right here is TVP, AKA textured vegetable protein. It's kind of like a vegan ground, but this one doesn't have any flavor in it. So you just kind of let it soak in the flavor and it's like lots of protein and yeah. So we can add that in there or you can add veggie ground. Whatever you'd like. Ooh, I wonder if I'll need more sauce. Okay, I'm gonna just turn this down a little bit. This is super easy, actually. I don't know if I should add some water. Let me go grab some stuff. <laughs> All right, we are back. So I'm just gonna add a little splash of water. Don't know why. Yummy. All right, so it says once it boils, you wanna add in the sugar and salt. So I think it's about a teaspoon of salt. I'll add more as I go if I need it. 
And so this is what makes it, I guess, Filipino style is the sugar. Apparently Filipino spaghetti is very sweet. We're adding in some coconut sugar. Actually, I think this is brown sugar. Um, but I mean, same thing. Ooh. I'm gonna add a little bit more tomato paste or tomato sauce. Mm. Yum. Well, it smells yummy. I hope that was enough sugar. <laughs> I added quite a bit. All right, now um, she does say that Filipinos like to eat like the sauce separately, but I think I'm just gonna pour it because it's easier. This is the spaghetti. Ooh. Okay, I feel like it's done. Guys, that was so much easier than I thought. So I'm just gonna turn that off. The spoon is going crazy. Anyway, so there it is. This is Filipino spaghetti. Mm. I also have some vegan Parmesan cheese that I made very quickly using cashews, nutritional yeast, and garlic and salt. Mmm. Mmm. Alright you guys, so this is the Filipino style spaghetti. Yay! Veganized, of course. I am going to dig right in, okay? Well, I do have a little drink here. Bubblies, of course, it's bad. Whew. Yummy! I am going to try my first bite of this Filipino style spaghetti. It's a sweet spaghetti. I hope I made it right. Let's find out. There's your bite. There's your first bite. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it's definitely sweet. Mm-hmm. Mmm. It's so sweet, but it's really yummy. Mm. 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 I also want to try making this with not with TVP, but with like store bought like veggie ground. But I wanted to make it with TVP just to see how it would taste. Plus, it's a bit healthier because. TVP, textured vegetable protein, doesn't actually have um, any like flavor in it already, so there's no sodium in it already. Whereas if you buy the veggie ground, there's gonna be a lot of sodium and stuff. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> yep. There's definitely something to be said about having spaghetti sweet. I didn't think it'd be that different, but like it definitely creates a really different taste, but it's really good. There's that like Filipino fast food chain, I think it's called Jolly Bee, and they have like a spaghetti. Maybe it's similar to this one where it's like kind of sweet. But this is the vegan version. Yay! Mmm. Mmm. I do really love the contrast between the savoriness of like, for example, the vegan parmesan and the sweetness, you know? Mm. It's really good. Yum. I definitely want to try out more Filipino vegan recipes. I want to try making lumpia, which is like, I think they're spring rolls, but it looks like a lot of work. <laughs> mm. Mm. I don't even know if this is considered like Filipino food. <laughs> It's Filipino style spaghetti, you guys. You guys know I love me a good fusion. Love me a good fusion. So the last mukbang that I 
I think it's the last one that I posted a few mukbangs ago, one or two mukbangs ago. I talked about a bunch of different stuff about society and, you know, obesity and stuff like that. And then someone commented, which, you know, I thought it was like worth a discussion because somebody commented something like, uh, you know, it's kind of sad that our society will kind of praise women that are, you know, thin or average, you know, weight that can eat like ton of food and those people will get praised and not criticized. But then if it was like a fat woman or like an overweight or obese person, then that person would be criticized and, you know, made fun of or told like to not to eat like that. And I was like, that's very true because, you know, I don't know if I've said this before, but like just because you're skinny or at a, you know, lower body weight doesn't mean that you're healthy at all. Mm. As much as it is true that like obesity is a concern and it is a health risk in and of itself, obviously it does not mean that just because you're not obese that eating a bunch of crap is gonna be good for you, you know? So like, I do think, then that made me think about the whole mukbang thing and how, you know, problematic a lot of mukbang, you know, videos are and that I feel kind of guilty for making them. Even though, I feel like I try to do my due diligence and, you know, reiterating that first of all, a lot of this is an illusion for me anyway, not for everyone. And I'm not actually eating, you know, four different servings. This is actually probably two servings. I made about two servings, I believe, of spaghetti anyway. So we'll see how much I can eat. I can already eat a lot, but yeah, I just want to reiterate that when I do these mukbang videos, I definitely do not overstuff myself to the point where I'm like really uncomfortable. I probably do eat more than I would if I wasn't filming. But like I don't eat until I'm like uncomfortable and I really do try not to, you know, promote this message that, you know, binge eating is healthy or anything like that just because, you know, I'm not overweight doesn't mean that that's healthy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it is kind of a problem. Like, I don't know what to do about this mukbang issue. I do feel that, you know, people have a responsibility to kind of say, hey, like, eating, you know, 15 cheeseburgers in one sitting is probably not healthy. You know, <laughs> you know when you see, like, TV and there's usually, like, a little disclaimer in the beginning that's saying if it's, like, an extreme, you know, challenge or something, it'll be like, don't try this at home. I feel like that kind of thing... It's probably necessary, especially for people that are binge eating a bunch of stuff or doing like a food challenge where they're downing like 20 cups of noodles in like 10 minutes. Like that's not something to be replicated at home. Mm. I mean, for me, outside of mukbang videos, I do try to eat quite healthy most of the time. I do work out. A lot of people, I said this in my last, the, the mukbang video that I was talking about before, you know, a lot of people have this misconception that because they see me eating a lot of food on camera, that I don't gain weight or something like that. Um, even though I do mukbang videos once a week, if, if that. <laughs> Most of the time, I don't eat like this, you know? And I do definitely gain fat very, very easily. So I do go to the gym, I work out multiple times a week. I do like high intensity workouts, I go to fitness classes. And I'm also on my feet quite a bit because I'm at the cafe. So I definitely get in at least, um, I, ha I have a Fitbit now, and I definitely get in like, I don't think I've ever missed a day of getting 10,000 steps. There were days when I was watching Nari that I was getting like 25,000 steps and I wasn't even like trying, you know? Mm. Mm. 
So, so yeah, I think it's important. Maybe. I don't know. I feel like these people maybe should be called out. I'm not sure. If someone's eating 20,000 calories in one sitting, like, that's not healthy. But if that person was overweight, people would be like, why are you doing this? Like, that's disgusting. But it's not healthy regardless of, you know, how much you weigh, right? Like, there's some girl, her name is Amber Lynn, and she's, like, morbidly obese, I believe. And I don't know exactly what she does. I haven't really watched her videos. But I see her face, like, everywhere, and people are all kind of talking about her. I'm not sure exactly what her issue is. But I think a lot of people talk about how, you know, she's doing all these mukbang videos where she's eating all this, like, bad food and how she's addicted to all these bad food. And, like, that is a problem. Don't get me wrong. But then, if she was skinny, would people mind her eating, you know, 20 cheeseburgers? And she doesn't, I don't even think she eats like that. I don't know. Mm. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So, I think it's easy to get like jealous of these people that are eating whatever they want, whether it be like mostly junk food, but still s staying slim. But that could be a health risk too, because it's not really showing up. So, you know, later on down the line, you just don't know what's happening inside their bodies. And keep in mind also that a lot of these people are very young. And I mean, I remember when I was in high school, when I was young, I was actually overweight. I, or, did I mention that? I was actually overweight throughout my entire teenage life. That was like always a big insecurity of mine. Yeah, I actually ended up losing more weight when I got into university, funnily enough, because I started like, you know, realizing portion control a little bit and kind of just like, you know, eating healthier and stuff like that and working out properly, like doing weights and stuff. So when I was a teenager, like I was overweight. So for those of you that assume that I'm like, I don't gain any weight, like that's definitely far, very far from the truth. What I'm saying is, I forgot what I was saying. I lost my train of thought. Oh my God, why did I, why do I actually forget what I said? Oh, what I was saying was, so at that time when I was like super insecure about my weight, cause I was like, I was like fat and you know, there were all these girls that were like really skinny, like so many girls that were really skinny and, you know, never gained a pound and ate like shit and all that stuff. And then of course, you know, we get into our twenties, slowly into our thirties. And a lot of those people that were once skinny and probably never worried about their metabolism or never worried about gaining fat, their metabolism starts to catch catch up or slow down, I mean. Their metabolism is, you know, it's gonna inevitably slow down. And those bad choices are probably going to catch up to you. <laughs> so even if you're young and you think you're like, oh my gosh, I'm like 15, I never gain any weight, I don't have to worry. I would still focus, like it's still important to focus on like healthy eating because you don't wanna develop those unhealthy eating habits at that age because it's gonna be really hard to get out of them. Hmm? I'm like, I'm quite full, but I keep wanting more. <laughs> this is behavior that you should not replicate. But yeah, so that's why a part of me like is kind of glad that when I was younger, you know, in hindsight, at that time, I like wanted to be so skinny and I wanted to like be pretty like all the other pretty girls. But in hindsight, I'm kind of glad that I was a bit overweight and that I couldn't eat whatever I wanted without reper repercussions because if I were like that, I think I would have developed some bad eating habits at that time and it would have caught up to me and then it would be more than just, you know, my appearance that I would have to worry about, you know? So, um, you know, a part of me is glad that, you know, I was forced to kind of watch what I was eating and I was forced to kind of, you know, start exercising and developing those habits in that younger age because then now I'm kind of reaping the benefits of that because now it's a part of my routine. Now exercising isn't like something where, yeah, of course there are days when I don't want to work out and there are days when I'm like lazy and stuff, but overall just keeping a relatively active lifestyle is something that's part of my life and it's not something I have to force. Mm. 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 Okay. I feel like there's like two 
bites. This is what. <laughs> this is my issue. Okay, you know what? This looks like more 1.5 servings, okay? I'm just gonna eat it all. There's like two bites, and I don't really wanna pack it, you know? And I don't wanna waste it. This is my problem. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh. Mm. Mm. Anyway. So, I don't know what my point was with that story. My point is that gaining weight uh, is not the end all be all. So just because you don't gain weight, don't mean that you is healthy, okay? And your health, if you're young and you feel invincible, realize that you're gonna get old one day. Mm-hmm. Most of the time, those bad choices will have an impact. Hmm. Lately, I've been going to the gym a lot and like doing some hard workouts and I've been so hungry and my appetite has been insane. Oh. Wow. That was delicious to the last bite. Even though I'm full, that was so good. And I'm not like dying. Why is my, <laughs> how am I able to eat so much? Once again though guys, this is not how I eat every day. <laughs> I just wanna put that out there, make it clear. I normally don't eat this kind of portion, I normally don't, you know, put sugar in my pasta <laughs> and I normally don't even use that much oil to be honest. So when I cook at home, I'm pretty, pretty healthy. That being said, this was so good. <clears throat> Filipinos, you know how to make a delicious sweet spaghetti. <laughs> so yummy, but I'm so full now. Woo! I think after drinking this, I'm like, dang. Okay. Anyways, you guys, so uh, that was my mukbang slash cook with me video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys get a chance to try out this delicious Filipino style spaghetti. It seems pretty easy. Maybe you just need to add just like some sugar into your spaghetti. Um, it's so good. I'm definitely gonna eat this again. It was so delicious. But yeah, don't forget to check out the vegan bundle. Once again, it is available again for those of you guys that missed it last time. It's only available for another few days and it's uh, over 60 ebooks for only $50. A really crazy deal. You can get my Everyday Asian Recipes ebook. You can also get uh, Foodie Takes Flights ebook in um, in the vegan bundle. So if you guys want tons and tons and tons of vegan recipes and different ideas and stuff like that, you can check out the link down below. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, of course, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!